Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation. We have ln x plus ln x plus 1 equals ln 2x plus 1. One of the things that I'd like you to notice about this equation is that if you add x and x plus 1, you get 2x plus 1. So this equation is kind of all of the form ln a plus ln b is equal to ln a plus b. But is this an identity for logarithms? It is not. It's not always true. It's sometimes true. So we're going to find the x values. And I'll be presenting, I think, more than one method, uh, even though I don't necessarily separate them. So I'll present the, you know, just normal usual solution method. And then we'll talk about the solution. Uh, we'll go into a little bit more depth. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a graph. All right, anyways, let's get started with the first method. Even though there may not be a second method, we can always call the method the first method, right? As one of our viewers said, whatever you present first is always the first method. Okay, great. So here's what I'm going to do. I don't have this type of identity, but I do have another identity that I can use with, with ln. And that is ln ab equals ln a plus ln b. Of course, in this case, you want to use the absolute value. You know, a and b has to have to be positive, so on and so forth. We'll talk about that um, domain thing uh, next, uh, when maybe after we solve the problem. Okay, so we, we're going to use this backwards. So we kind of have the sum of two ln's, which we can write as the ln of a product. So ln x plus ln x plus 1 equals ln of 2x plus 1. Now the left hand side can be written as ln x times x plus 1. And then the right hand side is just going to stay as is. Now since we have ln on both sides, so two logarithms with the same base, I can basically say that the arguments are equal. So in other words, x times x plus 1 must equal 2x plus 1. So this got interesting too because we're kind of talking about two numbers whose sum equals their product and they differ by one. So it's kind of like an interesting idea. And again, we we'll talk about this in more detail a little later. So now this is going to turn into, you know, like a basic quadratic equation, which you can write as x squared plus x equals 2x plus 1. And then if you put everything on the same side, you're going to get x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. I know some of you already recognize this equation. This equation pops up um, in a Fibonacci sequence and a bunch of other stuff. We'll talk about that again. But this is a very, very special equation, and there is actually a reason uh, why we call this uh, a golden logarithmic equation. But anyways, let's solve it first. We didn't even solve it, right? So let's go ahead and find the solutions. Uh, well, x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, plus 4 times 1, because negative, negative becomes positive. To keep a long story short, you get the following solutions. Great. Well, not so great, because do they both work, right? Is that it? There are two solutions. We have to check. So let's check. How do you check the solutions to a log equation? Where is what you do? You check the domain, or you can just plug it in. Well, I'm not sure if you want to plug the, these numbers in. I will check the domain. So we do have the following equation, ln x plus ln x plus 1 equals ln 2x plus 1. So now I know that x must be positive, x plus 1 must be positive, and 2x plus 1 must be positive. So in other words, in order for this equation to have real solutions, all of these um, conditions must be met. But notice that this implies x is greater than negative 1. This implies x is greater than negative 1 half. But x is greater than 0 is basically going to cover everything, right? Because we're looking at the intersection. So we want the x values to be positive. However, 1 minus root 5 over 2 is not positive, right? So 1 minus root 5 over 2, because root 5 is greater than 1, right? Because 5 is greater than 1. This is negative, so you don't want that. So we end up with a single solution. But don't just underestimate the power of the single solution because it is a very, very powerful solution. Why? 
because if you evaluate this, it's going to give you 1.6 something. But not only that, this is what is called the golden ratio. So let's talk a little bit about golden ratio. And then I'll give you a little bit of information. Obviously, you can find lots of information on the internet, in the books. There's actually books on golden ratio. It's so powerful. It is so amazing. And it's just golden. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit of information. This is from Wikipedia. In math, we call two quantities in the golden ratio if the ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger of the quantity. It's kind of like, what? What are you talking about? Okay, there's a much easier way to take a look at it algebraically. So if you, you know, uh, look at the symbols. So we're kind of talking about A and B, and they satisfy this equation. And this is actually better explained uh, in the next slide I'm going to show you. So in the next slide, actually, we're going to talk about uh, more details. But anyways, uh, it is equivalent to the golden ratio is equivalent to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And it comes from the quadratic equation x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is kind of like a better explanation, more visual. So we kind of have like a um, length, a certain period. Uh, you know, piece of whatever, and then you're kind of dividing up into two pieces such that the ratio, such that the ratio of the, you know, of the longer piece to the shorter is the same as the ratio of the whole thing to the longer piece. And that ratio basically gives you the golden ratio. But not only that, if you look at the continued fraction, that is also crazy because take a look at it. It's just made up of ones, right? But it is the gold ratio. If you go ahead and, you know, set this equal to x, and the whole thing is going to become x, maybe I should go back that way. And then if you solve this, you're going to get the same equation. But obviously, in this case, x is positive. Therefore, you're going to end up with golden ratio. Amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of this, and then we're going to wrap it up. So I just graphed both of these functions for you here y equals ln x plus ln x plus 1, and the other one is ln 2x plus 1, and they intersect at only one point, and you can kind of check the graph because the red one is basically going to grow faster, and but the blue one is kind of, you know, they're only going to intersect at one point, basically. This is just a visual. It's not a solution by any means, but this gives you an idea. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.